Hello everyone and welcome back to Force Science and Kerbal Space Program 2 Early Access. When we last left this save, we had our heavy Leif shuttle on its way to Leif. Well, it'll, it's on its way to a mid-course correction and then it'll be on its way to Leif. Uh, but we are going to leave it on its way and we are going to launch something else because I want to do some of the other things as well while we're rescuing our existing space plane around Leif. We might as well do some of the other jewel things. For instance, the planet flag on Paul, which we supposedly already did, but we never actually did. So I want to actually do that. And so we'll send a separate lander. There's no sense in sending a space plane in for that. But our crew in the space plane could transfer into a lander and do that. And also the lander can bring over some extra fuel just in case we need that for the space plane. So I think We'll try and configure the mission so that it can do some support for our space plane, but also plant a flag on Paul. So, we'll launch that since we're at the Jewel window. Okay, so, what we're going to do is replace the Kerpalo launch. And this was the one that we were sending over to Tylo for the Tylo landing, but we'll send it over to Paul for the Paul landing, but it doesn't need nearly as much fuel as it did for that and the trick is <laughs> the trick is I don't trust the space planes with the actual Kerbals. We'll ha we have to send the space plane into Leif atmosphere to pick up the surface sample because we're not sending a rover with an arm to pick up the surface sample. Uh, we need to be able to take the surface sample from that creature on Leif and I'm sending a Kerbal. So we do have to send the space plane into Leif atmosphere. But on the way back, I think we're going to transfer them into this pod and that'll be safer. And then the space plane can do whatever it does on the way back, probably explode. So, um, so we are going to underfuel the lander here. We don't need the full lander and that'll make things a little bit easier for Paul. We really don't need the poodle stage, I don't think. Not for Paul. I think this, with its Delta V, can get to Paul just fine. Well, I guess I have to mess with the fairing. Okay, good enough. So, uh, we can now replace these with the bigger tanks, so we don't have to Saturn 1 it anymore. Okay, well that has the right... Oh, what happened to our paint job on this one? Hmm. Well, anyway, uh, let's do this first. Is that about the right size? I wonder if we can put tuba, five tubas on here or if it's not enough space. It's not enough space. I wonder if we've got the larger bearings. No. Yes. I mean, isn't it a perfect Saturn V? Yes, it is. Now, if we're going to use this to rescue the other two, we can only have one in here. Which means that this part is not going to have any dedicated crew in it. Over there, So we have to put a controller. And probably an antenna. I wonder if... Oh, I changed the camera on me again. Uh, I wonder if the antenna on the command module here, that one, can relay the lander? So that the lander stays connected? Maybe we should test that theory. Who's our Kerbal for this one? Bob. We haven't used Bob, so I mean we might as well use Bob. As far as I know, we don't get any more Kerbals. Interesting location thing. Um, so we could, in theory, run out of Kerbals. If, you know, I kill them all. Um, so yeah, we have to watch out for that. I do want to finish all these things before we run out of Kerbals. Not entirely sure we will run out of Kerbals, but it seems that way. Okay, uh, let me go ahead and launch. We are at the window. Monopropellant. Well, we didn't need monopropellant. We do intend to dock with this. I don't know if it's enough monopropellant. It's wiggling a lot considering I put the... Oh my god, no, it's doing something. It's doing something. The 
We're reverting to launch first. Well, see, it's random, <laughs> isn't it? That's the problem. You can't recreate it very well. I just did revert to launch. I didn't change anything else. And suddenly it's perfectly stable. Curious, isn't it? So the thing is, if you can't replicate it, you can't solve it very easily. Anyway, what I think is is that just the auto strutting thing that they added didn't kick in. But then why would it go all crazy like that? I don't know. Anyway, so. Let's just go ahead. <laughs> I'm sure it's perfectly stable and Bob is perfectly safe. Of course, we uh, reverted to launch, so no countdown. This is the first launch of our theoretically proper Saturn V. But there is no solving the Kraken. The Kraken always lurks. It is what Krakens do. <laughs> so it is always lurking, waiting to wrap its tentacles around your rocket when you least expect it. Well, it looks legit-ish. I don't know, I feel like it's performing worse than before. I feel like the strapped-on tank version was actually better. Oh, so we might be a little bit too horizontal. And we've even lightened up the the lander. Oh, I, I uh, on this particular saved craft file, I didn't replace the stack separator with a decoupler. That is definitely not the delta V of this stage. So it wasn't just strapping on the the tanks. Oh god, it's overheating up there. Um, of the docking port. Oh, we did have a docking port overheating problem before. Okay. Maybe that helped. But yeah, so it wasn't just the fact that the tanks were strapped on that confused it. Somehow, this thing doesn't read the delta V of this stage even now. Oh gosh, it's overheating. I, I slowed down. Oh, for heaven's sakes. <laughs> um, no, okay, we need that docking port. I'm gonna call that a glitch. And we'll go steeper so that hopefully it won't overheat so much. Hmm. Let me see. So we are going to revert this because that's a glitch issue. And I need that docking port. Yeah, we need to go steeper. But I'm wondering what it says about that stage here. Yeah, it's a, a here it's realistic about the first stage. 1,588. It's just not realistic about this stage. 4,867. There's no cross-feed on the decoupler. Maybe it's the decoupler's fault, though. It's just a tank with five engines attached. It should be pretty darn simple. It's very persistent about the wrong delta V of the vector stage. Is it just a vector thing? But previously I've uh, been doing that with the first stage, too. It just isn't doing that now. Well, let's replace that stack separator with an actual decoupler. Maybe I should just keep the launch escape system on. <laughs> just to protect the docking port. Maybe we'll keep it on until we get to space. Hey, Bob. Um, where did Bob go? No, we reverted. Guys, our Kerbals disappear when we revert. Another Kerbal had disappeared in the previous session when we reverted. And now Bob's disappeared. Tim C never disappears, but but we, we, we're going to run out of Kerbals if they disappear when we revert. Oh, you know what? Jeb was supposed to have perished anyway. We're going to send Jeb. Okay. And launch. Okay, staging. That happens pretty smoothly. 
Okay, so we will proceed steeper, and I'm gonna keep the launch escape system. Hopefully it's not gonna hurt too much. Okay, let me just cut it right there in the coast. I think it's safe to separate the launch escape system, but I'll wait until we're in space. Okay. Well, this is gonna get us just shy of orbit exactly what we would want from that stage in theory so okay 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 no it says dual pe there again uh, if i fiddle around with the node i could probably get it closer but we'll just do the rest on the mid course correction because i don't want to fiddle around with it Okay, ignition. We can just point appropriate, it'll be fine. So we'll have to juggle two missions on their way. No, I thought this was gonna go faster. Come on. Oh, one source of inaccuracy on the burns I forget is that it doesn't actually point where it's supposed to while we're time warping. I keep forgetting about that. Um, it's not, it's not reading things right. Yeah, we overburned somehow. Okay, go. Well, I'm not seeing any hint of any sort of lathe pass here. Guess we'll capture like this then. Alright, so this is in 276 days. And is carrying zombie Jeb. It doesn't tell me how long it is. I don't know if there's a way to see that particular maneuver, but let's just see. 276 days versus... So this will be later. So we're doing the other one first. Well, at least it says that. But I thought we were focused on the Capralo launch. It says Capralo launch here. But it wasn't showing the orbit of the Kripala launch. We probably passed the node then. It should highlight the orbit of the one that we're focused on, surely. I'm not feeling the turningness of this. I mean, you can see the actuation happening. Yeah, it's clearly the reaction wheel that's using the electric charge, but it doesn't seem to be doing a whole lot. Okay, well, I'm just going to use a little bit of thrust then. That's not moving us either. There's no way it's that heavy. And, and that's a heavy reaction wheel. It definitely can turn it. Well, now it's turning like crazy, but we're at zero, zero, and Jeb is mysteriously vanished. And the maneuver node's gone. Okay. Back to space center again. Okay. Now... It's turned to the maneuver node already. Okay, well that's cheating, but all right, fine. Magically, it's already there. Well, I don't know about this non-turning stage thing, and then it's suddenly being at the node, but... All right, it's on its way. We can correct the rest of that when we get there. doesn't seem to be tracking my delta v here. It would be nice if it could tick down the numbers. I don't know why it doesn't. Okay. Alright. Oh. I pressed M accidentally because I was looking at a map and it's just instinct. And it brought me back to this. And also it explains why our time work can be restricted based on the last vessel we visited. Because actually, the tracking station is just the map view. With extra dialogues. No, there's some sort of encounter. That's 98 days. We don't want to be that, that high. 
one maneuver at a time. We need to wipe out this stage anyway. Technically, they're supposed to be going over to Paul. Maybe we should do that first. Instead of going to uh, going to Lath first. But the lander could go over to Paul on its own, actually. But capturing this around Lath will take some time and effort. Okay, so that'll be in 41 days. And then the shuttle. But okay, we've gotten into the SOI. And we will bring it a little bit lower. Okay, well, now this is the part, the transposition and docking, where we've had some glitches, so I'm gonna save. Okay, make sure that the right things are being separated. Uh, that's fine for now, we want to get rid of the stage first. I mean, technically, we would want the lander still attached to the stage for the docking, but maybe just safer to get rid of it. These uh, these are supposed to fire forward too, right? This is firing forward. These aren't even doing it. It's a weird issue. This one says thrust status disabled, even. No excuse for that. Okay, undock. Well, we can have it do that even though we're not in control. Well, I guess we are in control now. Okay, it seems like this can be relayed by the pod. Mm. Okay, slow down. Oh, we still got time. Oh, no. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're going Oh, guys, I I was trying to dock properly, and then it docked even though we were in the hideous position with respect to it. Uh, tolerance for distance, tolerance distance for docking, I put down to 50%, the lowest possible. Specifically so I wouldn't do that. Why don't we just do a maneuver here where we correct inclination and lift the orbit up. Well, hopefully that'll be okay. Now, is the other thing gonna reach periapsis before we get there? No, probably not. Okay. Alright, well, I think we can wait a while with this while the other one comes in. So we're trying to get to Paul here. Oh, those control surfaces are clicking in, uh, clipping into the engine. I didn't want that to happen. Um, they could probably wait 36 days for stuff. Okay. So, we have captured, and we want to go to Lath. Should still be our target. Well, we can't plot the other maneuver. I would flatten our orbit out too, but 121 for the first thing. So that's what we will do. It has captured around Jewel, but we're going to pop on over to the Paul mission. I put it off to the side here instead of directly where I wanted it because otherwise it'd be covering those locations and I wouldn't be able to see them. In fact, I'm going to get rid of it. I'm just going to see when the dots come around and when we get in an encounter. Okay, Paul Periapsis. That should be good enough. Alright, we've got something there. That's in 66 days. So, back to the space plane. We'll have to wait on this one. Thirty-five. Oh, they're doing it at the same time. Back down we go again. Oh, that's already pretty close. I don't think I have to do a maneuver. No, or not a big maneuver. Whoa, in fact, doing a maneuver might hurt things. 
That's a maneuver of zero. I think we can just go there. But it's not showing me the resulting orbit. We clearly will eventually have an encounter. Anyway, we'll let this be. Um, let's go over to the... Well, we'll just go via map view then. Okay, so this is getting into orbit of Paul finally. Okay, there is Paul. We should... Oh, 178 is not bad, but yeah, we should get closer. We're just supposed to plant a flag on Paul, that's it. Why does the gumball have all the power? Is this, the power not feeding into the lander, though? It seems like only this tank has been drained. So, well, because there's a decoupler there. But that shouldn't affect the electric charge. If this pod has electric charge, that pod should have electric charge. There's fuel crossfeed between, or supply crossfeed between them. Hmm. Well, sure looks interesting. And that's being kind. I might have wanted to start this earlier. I might have wanted to start this earlier. We're right at the pole, so our coordinates are like changing. Well, it looks more detailed than the original, that's for sure. It's sort of... Well, it's got a lot of texture to it. It feels like it ought to have quite a lot of biomes. Okay, so we have captured. And to plant a flag, we're gonna have to have Jeb go into the pod. Why do I feel like there's something... It, why is this docking port over here? The docking board was supposed to be on top of that. What is it even attached to? I just noticed this. There's no node there. I thought it would be attached to this, but okay, well ever it hasn't killed anything yet. Okay. Okay, well we don't have a whole lot of electric charge right now. That's all messed up. I swear it couldn't have been like that before. I hope we can dock with it again because I would like to move the fuel from this lander over into that. Though maybe that explains why the electric charge wasn't getting into this if... I don't know. That, that would be a weird theory. Okay, so surface... Uh, why? Because of the weird docking maybe. The sudden docking actually displaced the docking port? Hmm. Okay, well, that's coming straight down. I don't know which biome we'll be in, but all we have to do is plant a flag. It's this. this is like the first non-precision landing that we're doing in KSP2. I guess this patch doesn't seem too bad. Dark, though. Okay, that's wiggling too much. People ask, why don't I use the retro one? Well, it wiggles all over the place. We're in like some great chasm. Oh, that's wiggly too now. Oh, oh, oh no! Oh no, we're, it's a really big slope. Uh, okay, I think maybe we've got enough reaction wheel power to deal with it though. The funny thing is, it's already given us credit for landing and plan of planting flag on Paul. We just have to do it legitimately. Let's see, where does he pop out of? Okay, oh, okay, don't use your head. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. Oh. Okay, okay, you know what? Let go. I think you're doing worse things to the lander because you're attached to it. Oh, it might even end up upright. Or whatever. Pos oh, camera. Camera. It's sort of leaning off to the side. Okay, uh, just... On the flag. Uh, Jeb on Paul. 
Um, zombie power. Anyway, get into that. 